Hi, I'm George from Melling. Thanks for clicking. In this segment, we're going to demonstrate the correct procedure for installing the press-in type screen into the pump. This is a six thousandths interference fit. As you can see, the tube is six thousandths larger than the hole it's going to go into. So let's demonstrate how to do this correctly. First things first, let's measure the depth of the pan. Next, install the pump on the engine, holding the screen one half to three eighths less than the depth of your pan. Mark the tube and the pump with a marker or a paint pen. Next, remove the pump from the engine. And to make life easy, let's use a screen tool to install that screen. And remember, never mount a pump to an engine to install a screen or use the vise to hold the pump while installing the screen. Never. Next, drive the tube in straight. Marks a line. It's a good idea to TIG weld the screen to the pump for security purposes. Next, we're going to mount the pump to the engine with the intermediate shaft installed and a 3 8 drill taped to the screen. Put a little white grease on the drill. Next, we're going to install the pan. Then we're going to remove the pan and check for a witness of grease on the pan. If there's no grease, the clearance is okay. If the pan rides on the drill and the clearance is present under the pan rail, the screen is too close. Don't forget to remove the drill. Next, we don't want to forget to torque the pump to the correct specifications. Remember, don't mount the pump in a vise when installing a screen. Never. Don't mount the pump to an engine when installing a screen. Never. And don't twist the screen after it's been installed in the pump. Never. I hope this makes your screen install a success. I'm George Richmond from Melling. Thanks for clicking.